this table, deft fingers are placing the bands made of gilding metal prior to swaging. Well, this may look easy, but millions of these rings were placed by these girls before such speed was attained. properly placed and ready for swaging. The swaging operation is done on these powerful punch presses. Due to the speed of this operation and to prevent fatigue, these girls alternate every 500 projectiles with the girls at the banding table. The operation of punch presses is no longer considered hazardous. A trip is mounted on each side of the machine and both hands must be on these trips before the machine will operate. The arm, which you see swinging in front of the machine, is another safety device which will force the operator's hand away from danger in case of accidental tripping. When a 20 millimeter gun is fired, the rotating band forms a seal in front of the gases which force the projectile through the gun barrel. And also, by being forced into the riflings of the barrel, it is given a rotating motion which guides it straight to its target. Although these machines are large and seem cumbersome, slow motion photography reveals the grace and rhythm of their operation. The rotating band is forced into the knurled groove with such pressure that there would be danger of wall collapse had the high explosive incendiary cavity been drilled to full depth in the first machining operation. After swaging, the projectiles are ejected by air and are deflected down a chute to the racking bins. The rotating band has now become an integrate part of the projectile. The cutaway view which follows shows the solid core remaining in the projectile during the swaging operation. This core forms a protection against wall collapse and ensures a tight, well-seeded band. Here, basket number 3490 receives its original allotment of projectiles. This belt conveys them to the next department. In this department, automatic screw machines converted into chucking machines perform final machining on the projectile. These machines are of the same type as those used on first operation. As in other departments, these operators are supplied with precision gauges. In addition to checking by the operator, at intervals, an inspector takes one projectile from each machine for a closer examination. This will stop any trouble at its source.
Now the projectiles in basket number 3490 will receive their final machining. A different operation is performed each time the machine indexes and a completed projectile drops down the chute. Machining has now been completed on the projectiles in basket number 3490, and the operator fills in the necessary information on the reverse side of the trailer card. Let's take a good look at what happened in this final machining operation. A shell case crimping groove has been cut. The rotating band was turned to size and shape, and the supporting core has been removed by drilling the cavity to full depth and reaming to finish diameter. Upon completion, the projectiles are again sent through the degreasing process and then dipped into a special oil to prevent rusting or corrosion. Now the projectiles are ready for final inspection. These girls are familiar with the manufacturing process and know every detail of the 20 millimeter projectile. Accuracy of gauges and alertness of inspectors at this point is important in every sense of the word. It is possible that jammed guns or misfires which may cost the lives of our men at the battlefronts could be traced to any carelessness on the part of these final inspectors or to the inaccuracy of gauging equipment. Each projectile is handled by two inspectors. One of them inspects all dimensions with gauges. The other, through visual inspection, will check for any outside or inside surface defects. Any roughness or scores in the high explosive incendiary cavity could cause a premature explosion during the loading process because the explosive charge is compressed into the projectile with many tons of pressure. The inspector's OK on this card indicates that the projectiles in basket number 3490 have passed final inspection. In order to conserve vital materials, projectiles with minor defects that can be corrected by reworking are taken to a special rework department.
This machine is reworking shallow or short threads. All reworked projectiles are again checked by the final inspection department.